and then I'll go to bed. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. <laughs> Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. 17 Aww. million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. People will die, accept it, and that's kind of harsh. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and. and Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the admirals get into trouble again. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I'm just like babysitting them. <laughs> Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? I'm hoping for the best, but I'm gonna keep my eye on him. And that makes two of us. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they picked now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little. Not everybody's as crazy as you, ma'am. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Those FBA couplings you got us are still holding up. Commander? So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardot Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Has Alenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. 
It appears I have that effect on humans. Now quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. The cult Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. At this point, I don't have a lot of options. You do. Throw it out of the airlock. Don't you think that's a little drastic? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that. But I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. to the troop station there. Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. Hmm. Commander. Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. <laughs> Meet with Riley. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? 
three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The captain always sees us through. Hmm. I had a bad feeling about this. Seriously? We need a radiation workaround, soldier. On it, ma'am. Shit and seven too. Cute. Another N seven. Captain Riley, Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Good work, Coslo. I'll take it from here. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. We'll cover you till you're clear. What the hell? I hate these kind of games. Team two moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. This place gives me the creeps. No more waiting. Take that fight to them. Just stay sharp, people. Is that like poisonous gas or something? Oh, it is. Huh, what the heck? No idea what to do here. Fuel rod. Would like to. Let's 
lost those fuel rods. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ah, not those guys.
Oh, finally. We didn't lose Javik there. No. Where is everybody? Oh, here we go. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. Commander, you saved our asses. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. 